Sports Video Group is in Moscow, Russia at the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Brandon Costa reporting for SVG. We're with our friends at Fox Sports. Have the distinct pleasure now to be joined by Rod Conti from Fox Sports. Rod, halfway around the world, but it's great to see you. How are you? It's great to see you, too. I'm doing great. How could it not? Look at this. It's a beautiful day right now. It's unbelievable. (laughs) So we are about, we're in the knockout stages of this company's first ever men's FIFA World Cup. So what is your assessment on how things have gone so far and how do you feel about how the products come across? Oh, it's been fantastic. I mean, for me, uh, it's not the wor- the first time for us uh, working with uh, the World Cup team, FIFA and HBS was uh, in Vancouver where we had great success. But really with the Men's World Cup being here uh, in with working hand in hand with HBS and and building this structure with them and having our set at the foot of uh, St. Basil's Cathedral has been amazing. Um, Working with a group of international partners as well has been uh, uh, a fantastic relationship and uh, uh, one that uh, really is uh, unique um, to not only this sport, but uh, you know, uh, to Fox right now. yeah, you, you just gave us a fantastic tour of the beautiful set. The folks that back at home in the United States have seen it. It's beautiful from everything blown glass, pure gold on some parts of the set. It's gorgeous. And it's here right here in Red Square, which from day one was very important to you, the company, everyone. A lot of the broadcasters wanted to be here. It wasn't easy, but it worked out. So how, how did it happen? How were you able to get into this iconic spot? Yeah, I think it was tough. You know, in the Fox way, uh, we wanted to come in uh, really large and in charge and, and just plant ourselves in the middle of Red Square. And uh, uh, as you know, that's a busy place over there. Uh, since we've been here, there's probably been six major events inside. So it was, uh, it was not shocking that we ended up just outside uh, with the HBS OPS uh, run facility. Um, however, that brought some uh, concerns, you know, how do we do it that Fox way when we're sort of like uh, uh, pushed into this sort of generic compound. But uh, it really has worked out well. Um, HBS and uh, their help with VPT who, who built this structure uh, along with Jens Weber, uh, taking Gary Hartley from our side's team and their design, uh, really put everything they could into working with us from the inside point of view uh, to really have that Fox look uh, sort of brought out. We put a lot into it, uh, though a smaller space than we're used to. I think we've gotten uh, a good four looks out of the, the, the area. We have a back of house area that's supplying all of our, our technical needs in this sort of remote atmosphere. So our, our lighting teams, our camera teams, um, our tech teams on this side and audio all going downstream to the uh, IBC uh, for mixes uh, has been great. Uh, the room has been fantastic. And listen, being up close and personal here with the fans as well as, uh, you know, um, uh, in the heart of Mas- Moscow itself has been just fantastic for us. So we definitely feel the pulse here. Uh, and uh, through some other technologies like our Zoom camera systems and everything else, we don't feel so far away from the rest of the group that's working on the, the backside of that production. Now, you alluded to a little bit there, uh, and to, to kind of talk about the relationship with HB, HBS in general, you're a new kid on the block, uh, essentially, uh, for a Men's World Cup anyway. Um, uh, what's that relationship been like, and how have they kind of helped to welcome you into the fold? And as you mentioned, usually, I mean, the history of Fox, the big events that you guys do, Super Bowls, World Series, Daytona 500s, you are it. You're the king. You're the broadcaster there. It's a different model here when you're one of many. Uh, so how has been that relationship with HBS? How's that gone for you? Yeah, it's very different. You know, of course, you want to be the sort of master of your own universe, you know. And and in this in this game, it's different. You know, it's a world event. And we're, we're, we're a partner amongst uh, uh, broadcasters from all over the world. And, and we sort of understood that coming in. No big surprises, but I think from, you know, uh, a, a whole domestic side of Fox's personality it, it, it had us concerned a little bit, but I think that they have met all of our requests and and the things that we wanted to do really well. I think they see our picture as well. They're very happy to have us invest so much into the space and uh, so much care into our design and everything else that represents this event as well as the, the country that we're in. Uh, that they really worked hand in hand with us to achieve all of those, even under the constraints that something like this uh, in an OPS shared environment. 
All right, Rob, well, thank you very much for giving us your time. It's a phenomenal undertaking, and it's been fantastic so far. So congratulations on how everything's right, gone so far. Thanks. Thanks for coming all, all right. the way to Moscow. <laughs> all right, for more of Sports Video Group's coverage live here from Moscow, the 2018 FIFA World Cup, you can visit us online at sportsvideo.org.